there we go right okay so welcome back everybody again uh this is um i think it's lesson eight now that we're on so uh we've got a couple more after this um what we're going to do next um is we're going to uh, create a composition as opposed to uh, find a photograph or uh, another artist's work. That said, you can still be inspired by um, other artists, of course, and you could start off with a photograph and add your own things to it, which is what I've been doing today. So if you're still working on your uh, scratch board um, uh, piece then uh, please do that or even if you've not had a go at um, doing it yet then there's still um, enough time to do that because we've still got a couple of weeks after today um, but what we what I started on um, today is um, as I said creating a composition so I grabbed a few hold of a few photographs uh, a window ledge uh, a couple of pots and a cup and saucer so far and I've also put a boat into the background of the one that I'm going to show you in a second as well. So um, I'll, I'll talk a bit more about that on the wall. OK, so um, this is what we were doing last week then. So um, as I mentioned before last week, if you're still doing this, make sure you put plenty of wax on. Um, and what you want to be doing really is removing uh, uh, most of the paint that you put over this to highlight different parts of the image that you're most interested in showing or getting the person to look at. Um, so this was the original photograph up there in the corner that I worked on and then um, we can see what I did with this one. So I mean if you're still working on this sort of thing um, a lot of you covered it with a dark um, amount of colour first of all. Um, but you can also, which I mentioned last week, you can also try this as well, which was to use different colours on different sections of the picture to then scratch away afterwards. OK, so that um, is something to try out next. Here's here's the um, which I, what I showed you last week. I'll show you the finished one again in a minute. So on this one, you can see where I've scratched away bits of the blue from um, on the first one that I did uh, um, but the idea is to leave behind some of the color so that then you've got some of the marks actually doing some things creating some sort of feeling in the picture and this one the purple was used to create a sense of movement in the picture and then I scratched away most of the areas that um, have the flowers on uh, for example OK, and you can see on the pot here, most of the pot is now white again, apart from a few marks which follow the contours of the pot itself like that. Just there. They look a little bit like um, a woodcut or something like that or a lino cut. So um, quite an interesting one. Um, if you didn't have much success with it, then, you know, have another go. But um, a few people today actually um, painted back over some areas of the pictures they were working on um, and that was so that then obviously you could scratch back into it again and get some of those details um, back in okay or scratch into it in a slightly different way than you did before all right so i'm going to get rid of all of those for a moment and show you what i'm doing um, today so let's just do that there we go and so there's a few artists that I've been inspired by for this whole project, really, um, or artists like the ones I'm going to bring up now. Um, so we've got Charles Levier. We've got um, Winifred Nicholson, who was um, Ben Nicholson's um, wife, I believe. And um, there was this one who is a, a, called Sarah Bowman, and she's exhibiting at a gallery in um cambridge which is actually where i'm exhibiting next next um next july or this july um and uh it covers the th kind of theme that we've been looking at but you'll notice that most of the colors in here are blues and whites with little bits of green and grays in there as well so a limited color palette but still very sort of uh, vibrant and happy uh and clean sort of uh, feeling to it um, in there. So um, the idea of what we're doing then is to create a composition a little bit like this and then uh, start to add objects um, into it and then paint it perhaps with a more limited colour palette 
um, this time as opposed to the really vivid colors that I was using on the last one so I just put her over there um, this is Charles Levier who was um, he was born in I think it was 1920 and died in 2013 so he was around a little while and he he painted all these um, beautiful um, kind of pictures with flowers in but again kind of uh, more muted colors except for the odd few colors on the flowers and things so uh, you were drawn into the into the picture in different ways there and a little bird down the bottom too and they did quite a few of these pictures as well um, so this is the kind of thing that um, I've been uh, thinking of for these pictures and then Winifred Nicholson quite an atmospheric and soft looking um, picture here so you really get a sense of the the light but it's very gentle and things um, and hazy if you like towards the background but you've still got that sense of light that we've been looking at in a lot of our pictures as well so um, that was the inspiration and that's kind of what we're aiming for um, uh, aiming to do next um, so for my picture I've taken um, let's just bring these up I've taken a few um, images as inspiration you some of you may recognize this one because this one's in the folder um, I put some new images on on the website as well that you can access so um, there are some more things you can look at but I've taken this uh, picture here of um, a window ledge I've extended the window ledge at the bottom so I could put more things into it a little bit uh, and then I've used a teacup um, just at the front here let me just see if I can move it in front um, of the other one there yeah I can so I put a teacup just there and I've taken a uh, vase as well and put that just one of these vases actually and I've put that um, just here so it's a photographic kind of montage if you like at this stage but what I did is I used the uh, window ledge as the structure for the picture and I've been uh, changing things um, by adding objects and things into the picture. So this is what um, we're going to have a go at next. In the background, just up near the horizon, I've also added um, a boat in, in the very background there as well, which um, you can't quite see on the one I've been doing. So let's go and have a look at um, the desk. So here is my composition. So again, um, you'll remember me just a minute ago showing you the um, the pictures that I've taken these from. Um, so basically, I sketched out uh, this photograph. Oh gosh, it's all frozen. It's not moving at all. Hang on, let me just see if I can get it coming on again. It's just decided not to work. there you go oh no it's frozen again well anyway uh let's see if it work freezing there you go right <laughs> so um i take i took this photograph and i like this photograph because there's nothing on here so there's no interruptions at all i can be creative with that but also we've got still got all these lovely um highlights and shadows on the window ledge which i can reference for my own picture we've got them um, down the side of the window uh, panes in the frame there as well and we've got something in the background which is quite empty so there's lots of opportunities for me to have a little play around there's my teacup and i took that pot as you saw a minute ago and drew them in so starting off with the structure of um this window ledge drawing in all the frame and everything and then afterwards sketching in these details quite lightly um on the um with the pots and things now um obviously the lighting may be slightly different um for this picture so with this um jug thing here which is quite nice the uh, the curvy shapes and things i did add some highlights over here um, just to represent where the light's coming through and perhaps hitting that side of the pot and casting a shadow on this side here I have left these highlights on this side because I imagine that there would be some light hitting 
the frame and bouncing back this way to create a bit more light on this side of the pot here as well and the teacup i thought was about right as far as shadows go so there's the teacup the light on this one is coming from that direction and casting a shadow over here okay so i've drawn that in as is and added the tone and shadow too so um again to cast the shadows here i've literally um, just drawn two lines either side of the pot and the jug so that we've got a little bit of shadow cast across there um, in the original photograph there was a shadow that came across this part of the from the window pane through the light cast a shadow down there but um, I've decided to ignore that and just go for it like this and there's my little boat in the background as you know I do like a, a boat so I put a boat in the background there which I found from a photograph on my phone and sketched it in as well okay now as far as painting goes I'm just using acrylics at the moment I may use something else as well um, but the the main purpose of this exercise is for you to um, you know the I we've used photographs we've looked at artists we've tried some weird techniques so now the idea is how creating an arrangement of objects within a picture to make your own design okay which is similar to what we did with the dance project before now um, a few things to help you with that of course uh, and you'll remember me talking about this last time um, if you were in the class last time is that you can divide each side of your picture into thirds so that then the details in the picture fall roughly on the thirds that help will help you balance out your picture so on this one which is about um, well let's say the width of the page is 30 so if I go for a 10 cent about 10 centimeters which is roughly here go straight up you'll see the pot goes through the window frame there but also the middle of the pot and on 20 we've got it going through the cup okay and if I go the other way let's see what happens here so we've got the middle of the pot is there or the jug and that's on 10 centimeters and if I go up to 20 all the way across the ship is also on another third line going across here so we've got a little bit of balance to help balance out the whole composition of this picture so i'm still i'm going to continue tonight um painting from using this as a little bit of inspiration um, not strictly i'm not trying to achieve exactly that but i'm you know just using it as something to remind me of what i'm looking at and what i'm inspired by so I may decide to bring in a bit more of this soft atmospheric quality to the background. Um, I also decided to add some more vivid, as you can see, rather than go for the dullness in the original picture, I've gone to, for some lovely vivid colours in here to make them really punchy against the dark um, frame on the outside. OK, and then obviously um, we've got some nice details on this one. So there's some little greeny, detaily bits in there, which I'll, I might, I may sort of add some details to these uh, jugs. And I was thinking about adding some foliage, sort of coming around the top of the window frame from outside, as well. So um, that's the idea um, this evening. If if you're thinking, oh, what sort of pictures can I use? There's quite a. F I have collected some, and put them on the drive. So if you go on the website click on the little button I put there you can have a look at those um, but as I said you know with the boats and things I you I literally just um, grab grabbed hold of my phone and, and wrote fishing boat and found a picture of a fishing boat to put up here I might add something in there which draws a bit more attention like a touch of red or orange up here as well so a little touch of another color can help really draw you into a certain area of the picture as I mentioned on Charles Levia's um, work so you've got a little you know little highlights if you like or accents of colors in the flowers and stuff all right so um, 
how is everybody getting on? Can I show you the one that survived? The one that survived, I like that. <laughs> no, it, it disappeared. It disappeared. Okay, hang on. Survive. It's not what you asked us to do, but it, it happened. Oh, right, that's good. It's right. lovely. Okay, it's on. lovely. Place. So it's like a tapestry. Oh, oh yeah, wow. Like so is this uh, the scratchy one? Yeah. Yeah. yeah like oh, that. that's lovely. Beautiful. That's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. That worked really well. Yeah, bring it in a bit closer so I can see the flowers a bit. Yeah, I don't bring it in closer. Just... <laughs> no, that's come out really well. And you've been, oh. you know, you've left some marks in there, haven't you? But you've you've been quite brave and, and got rid of a lot of it. Did you repaint the pot too? Or did you, you did? Did that well, work? I put, I, put white, I, I put some light into it, that's all. Oh, on, yeah. On that. Yeah. But I've got I've got a funny thing, I've got a butter knife. Oh right. With a prom and I yeah. started to scratch with it and my, my I've got some wax on. Oh right, okay, yeah. And it wasn't scratching. And then I, I was getting it off in chunks. I couldn't see the picture and then I thought, well I've got a tapestry here, so I kept going. Oh all right, okay. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, somebody <laughs> um Rawns this morning had emptied out their kitchen uh utensils <laughs> drawer and brought in loads of stuff. <laughs> It was this thing that I used for this thing. Similar. Oh, crikey. That looks a bit brutal. <laughs> I couldn't get it off. I couldn't get it off because it was um, too much wax on it. Oh, right. OK. But it came out oh, it, it came out really okay. well, didn't it? So. Well, I, I, I was surprised. I thought this isn't what I'm doing. The other one now. I thought this isn't what Jamie wanted me to do, but it it was a learning curve. Yeah. Well, it wasn't um, the view through a window or anything, was it? It was just flowers there. But I think it looks really nice. I think you've done a great yeah, job I, with that. I, I tried to make a lattice window behind it. Yeah. It well, I, I like I like that pattern in the background. Actually, that drew my attention there. Yeah. I so. showed a friend who's an artist, and he said that's far too busy, Sheila. <laughs> I thought I'll get on with it on your back. You don't understand art. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's beautiful. I think well yeah. done. Thank you, Anne. Yeah. I bought a set of, um, I think they're pottery things. Oh yeah, I think you mentioned that. Four didn't nine. You? They were four ninety nine on Amazon. Yeah. They've got two ends. I ended up using my thumbnail mainly. <laughs> Did you really? Did oh right, yeah. This? Yeah, right. Like, I've done that before as well. Handy. You could get different sort of. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So now, Jamie, I'm left with a white painted board, two pictures. I don't know what to do with. Could you just try to something out? Help. Well, um, what were you going to do? Were you going to do another? Well, I was going to ask you about this. I like that picture. I yeah. thought that was going to be a bit hard to start. That, oh, that's beautiful. But I wondered if yeah. I could do a. A similar thing to yours, but use that background instead of the C. Would that work? What the, for scratching? You mean for etching? On, no, not to scratching. Oh Forget right. Scratch. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've done a whiteboard, <laughs> but that's not really a seascape, is it? But I could do something on the window. Well, no, you don't have to do a seascape at all. You know, you can do whatever you and want. I could to. do that in the background, couldn't I? Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. add that and put something else instead of those jam jams. The, the flowers in the foreground. The yeah, of course you can. Yeah, yeah, that would be great. Yeah, yeah. Choose some confused. different objects to go got, there. Hmm. Who wants to scratch uh, to, to cover the one that that one with black? Um, well, the um, the the one that I did here, um, you don't have to cover it in black. No, the one I did. Um, let me just bring it up again. Um, the vase with the flowers and stuff. I'm just yeah. going to put these away a minute. Um, do, 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 do. Right, grey board, colour over vase. So the, the one that I did with the flowers, just the vase of flowers look, this is how mm. I covered it. Right. So um, I used per, per, I'll bring, actually I'll show you that, the result of it in the, in a, in a minute. But mm. I, yeah, I waxed it all and then I just used different colours on different areas to make it a little bit more interesting when I scratched it back. So, right. I'll, so after I'd done that look, this, the original one, um, 
is is this beautiful i love it yeah so yeah. i i i quite i was quite pleased with these lines you yes. know yes that kind of go in different directions because it gives it a sense of um movement and things which it didn't have before you know it was there you go yeah and then the flowers like you've done in some cases with your last one i've i scratched away most of what was on the flowers yeah. so that then you see that and most of what was on the vase yeah you see so i mean it you know it, it's quite it's quite a nice experiment you know it's a bit of fun so, so yeah. the next the next one the sea one is that just a painting yes yes but um i mentioned when when i was talking earlier that I may decide to put some different techniques in there as well. So, and obviously we've learned quite a few different things. We've done, we've done this, the scratch board, haven't we? We've done the, um, we've done a painting from another artist. So we've looked at techniques there. Um, we've also, um, we also use those pens. If you remember, we did those pens yeah. before. Yeah, so I'm doing another one of those. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, this is because this is your design as well. The next one where you're putting things into a picture of your own you can kind of bring in your own ideas into it and things as well so love that one up there jamie excuse me but which the one at the top one that one i think that's amazing this one yeah it's quite big I actually i think i like them all but i think that one's lovely yeah yeah it's quite um it's quite sim a simple colour scheme, isn't it? But that little bit of green in the yeah. foreground draws your attention, doesn't it? Yeah. And then you've got this blue. The in the... thing. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. It's quite a bit. I think if this is the one I saw in the gallery on Saturday, then it is quite large actually. It's um, it's about it must be a meter across. So, yeah, that's good, isn't it? What do you do with all these paintings, Jamie? I've got a big pile of them. <laughs> <laughs> down here you want to put them in you want to put them in um uh you know what mount uh, mount boards and, um, and sell them at what, some of your things well i could do yes but i haven't got time to do that i've got i've got my other stuff going on <laughs> that printing and, you're doing that looks amazing that printer. oh yeah yeah the printer that i built <laughs> i bet i bet they sell for 30 40 50 pounds what these little ones that I've done here? Yes, put them in some mount board and sell them. All right, then. Do you want one? Yeah. I know I want one, Jamie. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, yeah. That drawing you want, so don't that's you? That's all right. Yeah, that's all right. My daughter loves it so much. <laughs> and she's done so much for me. And I would be a lovely surprise. Yeah, yeah. You didn't mention it last week, but I have, I'll keep it. For, I'm keeping you it. You'd for forget. You. Oh, well, I'm just yeah. hoping you'd not forgot. <laughs> no, no, I've forgotten. I, I'm finding this quite hard to look at a picture and have to change it. So I think I'm going to look at your pictures, I think. So start with the, you know, the, the whole, this picture is based on the structure of that photograph that I showed you a minute ago. So this is, this is the starting point because, you know, you've got the window frame, you've got a frame around it, and then you've got um, this sill, window sill. And I just extend, I made the, this a bit wider so i could put a few more things on it and that was it so from that point i can fill it with whatever i want that's the idea so you've got a structure there in this photograph to begin working from the alternative to that of course is sarah sarah bowman here she i'm sure that you know you might get different references from the buildings and the boats well, you could you could draw your own curtains, couldn't you, and your own window ledge, and put your own things on it. Do you see what I mean? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. How do you spell Bowman? Uh, I'll tell you. Hold on. Um, B O W M A N. Yeah. B O W. Yeah. She. This is the sort of work she does all, just about all the time. Yeah. I saw it I like at the it. gallery I that. Her. Yeah, because. I saw it at the gallery that I was working at and I thought that's what that's similar to the sort of thing that we've been looking at, which is why I grabbed it tonight to show you. Yeah. So does that make sense, Anne? To sort of... 
Yes, thank you. Yeah. I, yeah. I was drawing that. There's nothing to do with it, really. But oh, gosh, that's I'm lovely. Gonna do, oh, I'm um, going to do another ink picture. That's lovely. Okay. Yeah. I found those on, um, on the internet somewhere. Yeah. That's gorgeous. I just think that would to be nice in those. Are you, things, are you posted it? that one? Pardon? Are you put put it on the on the netty? Put it on Facebook. I've not, I've not done that. That is a, what I'm copying. Oh right, I thought it was yours. No, that's mine. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> that's I thought, like I thought I've got to get that on. Got to get that on. I just love the I just love the old wood, and I thought with that ink it would be very effective. Yeah. Yeah, well, it would, yeah, bored. with the, the ink pens and the watercolour. So if awesome. we go off and go and look at your pictures, yeah, can we come back? I get confused. Yeah, yeah, you just, just click on, um, have you got Google or um, Internet Explorer? On I your... do it on the phone, couldn't And the internet yeah. went down yesterday and I couldn't do anything. That happened to so someone on our estate um, today, actually. Yeah. Was off from four o'clock yesterday till nine o'clock. Oh right, gosh, it's a long time to be off, isn't it? When you know people it rely when you on do it. your Tesco grocery order. And... Yeah, people, <laughs> people rely. People off. do rely on it now, don't they? Oh, I'm lost. I'm addicted to it all. I think. Hey, look, I'm in my photograph now. I'm going to look at your pictures now. Thank you, Jamie. I'm going to see if I'm getting. <laughs> all right, hang on. <laughs> can I just ask a quick question please yes yes please go um when you did your photo uh, your uh, window frame do you use a ruler no i i i, I sketched it out um freehand, freehand. but okay. you know using a ruler that's that's absolutely fine if, if you feel more comfortable doing that just do it yeah <laughs> i i just I just because when I sketched this out, I did it very loosely. Um, so I took the photograph like this. I worked out because I wanted the the frame to be a bit squarer than in this one. So I did this. I looked at the angle. So I was using my arm up and down like this, not not like this. Trying to give it straight. Yeah, so yeah. you you literally move your whole arm down. Yeah. And then you you've got the shape quite quickly there, and then I can work out the angle of the next part of the window frame here, which is almost almost horizontal. Yeah. Change the angle as you go down. Put one through the middle, and I've got I've got a frame there that I can then. Yeah. Put some detail into thicken up the frame first is what i did so not worrying too much about how straight it is yeah. you know um perfect so to speak and then it starts to take shape a little bit but you know you could do you could do it like this so you can get a really quick overview and then grab hold of a ruler and neaten it up like that so you could go like this then. Okay. You know, so that, you, you know, if you feel more comfortable doing it that way, you can get it quite quickly. And then uh, the window ledge, I did something like this. I'll do it a bit darker so you can see it. So the window ledge was quite narrow on the photograph. You can see here it's not that big. So I just expand, expanded it. Yeah. So I've got lots of room to try out ideas. On this one that I've just drawn, I've got quite a big amount of sea here, so I could put another. I could put a boat or even a few boats. So you can take something like that and you can change it to suit what you're trying to achieve in your picture. Yeah. Move that up a little bit. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. And then the. the... What have you shown us, the artists that you've shown us? Are they all acrylic? Um, well, I don't know about that, to be honest with you. Um, but I suspect, I mean, this is Winifred Nicholson here. Um, I don't know what she was using, but um, because these are, both of these are old, old, more old school painters, if you like, um, I would suspect they used oil. But 
I don't know. They may have grabbed hold of acrylics and used those, um, or even gouache. Right. Yeah, but okay. um, I can yeah. have a look. I could. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Thank you. Lovely. Have you decided what you're doing yet, or? Well, I've got um, I've got this. Can you see that? Oh, um, hang on. Uh, it's just. I just got a pin. Hang on. Face print. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah. So yeah, what was you well, thinking? That, that window with some books on, and I really love the shape of that. Oh, Port. that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, lovely. Yeah, yeah. So you could put uh, that on the on the window ledge. You could expand the window ledge across yeah, to the that's right. What, that's what I thought. I'd have the books maybe one end, and then put that jug on the other end. Yeah, yeah. You could do um, that, or you could even get rid of the you could move the book that's laying down across a little bit to give yourself a bit more space as well yeah 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 okay yeah and then um see if you can uh use the, that idea of using the thirds as well so you've yes. got thirds here and here look going through the middle and then yeah. something like that going through there which is 30 by 30, so roughly 10 centimetres. Yeah. What size paper have you got then, A3? This is A3, but I've yeah. uh, I chopped the bottom off a bit because I wanted a oh, square. Okay. I wanted to do a square composition. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking about doing a lino with something like this in as well yeah. later, but not this composition. But I thought it'd be nice to try it out. Okay. Yeah, lovely. Thank you. Lovely. I mean, I'm finding it very hard to get a really nice blue. Right, so what sort of blue do you want? There's a blue in the one with the frames and everything blue. It's a sort of china blue. How do you get that blue? Which blue? What, in this one? That one? Oh, the, the way back. Um, it was one with the blue flowers and the blue and the white, and you, you did it all in blue first. Oh gosh! Right. Okay. Um... I remember because it. it I, I think I've got to get a different acrylic blue. Yeah, I. Th I could go and have a look and see if I can find the picture because I may have written that down just to rem so I don't say something different. Okay, I don't have to put you to any bother. Tell me, tell me next week. Don't go to any bother. Uh, well, I, I, I wanted to put some pink with it or something to make it. Yeah, I. I was going to say I did add some violet. Oh, um, that's it then. I'm pretty sure I, I added violet to it, yeah. Yeah. I have, I have got something magenta, pinky one off. The acrylics are not as easy as watercolour, are they, to mix, really? Oops, I've gone off. I'm just um, having a look at this. do that now i was just going to um see if i could adjust the light on that sorry what what did you say sheila acrylics are not as easy to mix as watercolor really for me because i'm just getting used to them yeah so i'll just, get there yeah, get, i'm enjoying it the main thing good, is I'm enjoying it. good yeah try to keep the paint you know a little bit wet or damp at least Thanks. while you're working with it um and you know when you put one like with this painting here uh you'll see this blue here which is in the background yes it's that kind of blue yes this kind of blue that was cobalt cobalt oh, and white and a bit of pink uh well on this particular one this was just cobalt in the background and then after that i um i mixed in some brown to make a darker tone to do the darker tones and then it was just white so I mixed in Venetian red with the cobalt to make a really dark blue here and here. All right. right. Yeah. And then um, just literally white on top. Because what I was going to say to you, you know, if you've got a colour underneath and then, uh, and well, I did this in the last painting, and then you put white on top, you're going to get some of the cobalt, for example, come back through. So if I've painted the jug, 
and then put white on top you're going to get some of the blue yeah, yeah yeah so that's another way of mixing the colors even when they're dry because the colors are transparent you see so if you add enough water but not too much then it'll come through even if you try and mix even if you try and put the color on almost pure then you're still going to get a little bit of the blue coming through which is really nice you know adds a bit of depth into it as well yeah thank you for that that's all yeah. right yeah that's fine yeah so um yeah what i didn't say was i did put cobalt blue all over the pencil drawing that i made and then started working into the highlights and things on the cup and the jug and on the shadows and and everything so yeah it works quite nicely No one thought she weren't leaving her hotel rooms of the city looking through the windows and <laughs> Can I just ask another question? Yeah, go for it. So you said you, you painted it all blue behind. Yeah, background. watery, watered down blue, not really thick. And then and then you would have done the sky, the sea and the and the green grass would you and then done the jug and the cup glass um i what i did is i decided i wanted the jug to stand out straight away so i did all the highlights all the white bits oh. first and i did the white bits here but i've been over them them a couple of times and then i did the highlights on the windowsill left this bit behind and then after that, um, what did I do next? Oh, then I added the dark shadows onto the object. So I'd almost painted in the objects before I went on to the rest. The blue here, bluey green, is actually the turquoise uh, mixed with white. And then this was, I um, can't remember the green that I used now. Yeah, so it was, I think it was a grass green or something that I used okay. over here and just literally painted back over the top. But, you done that after the jug and the, and the cup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. so there you go. Because I wasn't, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do um, with this area. I thought I wanted to go browns in there originally, but I thought it'd be nicer with greens to make grass rather than um, rocks and stuff be a bit more friendly <laughs> yeah, okay thanks. okay yeah yeah but i went for i decided i wanted it to be a bit more vivid and contemporary maybe so i've used stronger colors in there yeah, yeah. as well yeah. just to make it a little bit different yeah you're going to put some red on that boat aren't you i think i might do because that'll send you straight <laughs> out the window <laughs> is it the plimpsel line <laughs> what's that is it the plimpsel line the plimpsel line isn't that what they call it the, the line they have round round the boat and the you know that's got to be above the water oh right no i don't know <laughs> yeah i don't know anything about that but that's oh, okay. something for me it. to find out about <laughs> yeah google it jamie <laughs> i will i will it wasn't my phone <laughs> that at school didn't we yeah the only thing line. i remember Anne. the plimpsel line <laughs> but I... I didn't remember much but i'm having a job to find all these photos i get right confused there's three thing. three buttons and one says new photos on it and it keeps saying i need google drive and i don't know what to do on that you've accessed no, haven't you you've you've seen you've accessed them before haven't you the photos well, I just press my finger and hope it comes up to save on photos. <laughs> and um, when it says Google, it's got a different email number. I don't know what my daughter did. I blame her. Uh, so I'm what? just going to try and do something anyway. I'm going to see what I've saved. Yeah. And then get on with something. Well, the other thing like to that. do, yeah, the other thing to do, Anne, is is um, just go on the internet and search for what you're interested in using, like um window you know view out of a window or something there i mean there's thousands millions of pictures that you can find so yeah have a look right i'll come back later then i'm gonna have a quick look yeah have a look and then come back are you all right there fran yeah, 
Yeah. <laughs> well, that one, though. Just thought I'd check you're all right. I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> Good. Okay. I'm just busy scraping. Oh right. <laughs> okay. Moment. Yeah. Is I it going? I mute myself because I don't want you to hear it. Oh right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of scraping in uh, Rawns this morning. It was like being at a coal face. <laughs> <laughs> it must be stimulating then. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right, I suppose I could do some painting. Yeah, so the boat that I'm using is on on here. So I just found the picture on here, um, and I I just drew straight off of that, which I've done quite a few times in sketchbooks and things. So it works quite nicely. When you said plimsoll line, I thought you were talking about shoes you wear at school when you go for PE. That's probably where the word came from. Yeah, probably. Because <laughs> they're probably like boating shoes, aren't they? Plimpsoles. So. Yeah. Wasn't he a bloke? I used to live in Bristol. And I seem to remember something about him and that in Bristol. Mis Mr. Plimpsoll. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Who designed the Plimpsoll? Could be. It's a sailing port, isn't it? Probably was. That's another thing to look up on Google. Sir Samuel Pimpsall. Sir Samuel. Yep, Sir Samuel Pimpsall. That is a sailor's friend. Different connotation. There you go. So it's a, it's a it's a reference point on a ship's hull that indicates the maximum depth to which a vessel may be safely immersed when loaded with cargo. Oh right. So if it disappears, you've got too much on it. Yeah, and you get done. You get told off. Well, it's likely to sink the ship. It? Yeah. So that's a quite an interesting word, though, isn't it? So Plimpsoll invented the line, did he, on the or the shoe? Did you say? Sorry. He invented the line on the ship. Okay. Yep. I shall now look up Plimpsoll the shoe. <laughs> <laughs> he cashed in. He came to Northampton and got loads of people to make him Plimpsolls as well. <laughs> Oh, I can hear oh, some... It's because the uh, the rubber soles yeah. reminded people of the horizontal lines painted on ships' hulls to measure the load. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's random, isn't it? It is random, yeah. It reminded people because everyone saw that, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, because they were canvas with rubber round, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. 
that was a big feat in those days. Absolutely. I suppose having big feet might help you anyway on a ship. Keep your balance. <laughs> <laughs>
I, I just left a message and I need to put it back in. But I am now. Yes. <laughs> I <laughs> thought it... me, I couldn't find a picture. And when I found one, it said it wouldn't, wouldn't let you have that one. I don't know what I'm doing. Really. You can keep it on your screen or do a screenshot. I could have. Yeah. I found one that's got a cottage in the background. That looks okay. That yeah. Yeah, okay. I did find one I really liked. I've lost my pad now. I give up. Oh, there's Eve. <laughs> I um, found one I really liked and it was like a brick window. Yeah. But it wouldn't let me have that one. So I should study this and look from the past. You're in the way I've done that. Hi there, Eve. Oh, wait a minute. Hello, Eve. All right. Hey. Hi there. Hi there. Oh. I know. I missed this morning. My phone never called. Ah. Oh. Nice ah. to see you again. Yeah, yeah. good to see you. <laughs> Um, do, are you, uh, what are you working on at the moment? You... <clears throat> That's the picture I was going to look at. Right, hold on. That's um, lovely. Ooh. Gallery. And... Yeah. All oh, right, yeah. Okay, that's, that's nice. Just a bit different. Yeah. So, uh, as I said on my text, um, I've tried something completely different. Because there are so many leaves, Yeah. I've just put patches of paint on yeah drawn in where the branches have been yeah and i've chosen i've actually chosen brown this time as a top cover because the window frame is black oh okay yeah perfect brilliant yeah. oh yeah i can just you can just see through it as well that's it great so and um, then you can scratch back through to the leaves yeah. and put leaf detail in that's it. so i'm actually going to kind of draw the leaves yeah because Draw i didn't in. do any drawing whatsoever really okay yeah that's good yeah so you've got the so colors in them. there and yeah. you can use that as a reference the photo can't you yes. yeah so um uh i don't know if you saw that one did you see that one that was lovely yeah so that one um and this is what i was talking about earlier with people is you know you put lots of wax on but then um i've removed a lot of the um a lot of the color because i used to, did you know that i used three colors on that one i can't remember if you saw or not um not i can't remember if we saw did you do vertical bands um i'll show you i'll show you um go over here so this is how it looked before okay so rather than just using one color i used three colors and scratch through those like that okay um and then this is how it looked afterwards but um if you remove larger areas of color so you can see you know the shape of your leaves and things like that a little bit more so some because you can end up with lots and lots of lines on your picture so um, some areas you want to clean off quite a lot so that you get a really clear sort of shape or details you know and if you've got veins on the leaf you could actually engrave those out as you're going along as well yeah i was saying earlier that the technique is is um it's known as a, a direct engraving technique because you're engraving okay. directly onto the surface rather than printing it later you see mm -hmm. what i mean yeah so remove larger i mean like this for example the pot has got um the lines that I've left behind are actually curved to the shape of the pot as well. So, again, you can do similar things like that with your um, leaves and so forth. Yeah. And your twigs and everything else. OK. Yeah. yeah right. Sound Fine. good. Thank you. Brilliant. OK. Great. Nice to nice that you're here. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So if you need any help, let me know very much thank
one thing, Jamie. Did you yeah. find that you um, had areas where paint didn't come off very well? Um, not so much with that one. Um, I mean, there. You know, unless you put a lot of wax on, you're going to get some areas that don't completely come off. Um, but especially if you, I think with with this one, I did as well last week. Um, I did leave quite a lot of detail, but there were some areas of, of the darker colour that wouldn't re remove, you know. So it does seep through in places. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, Thank you. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah right. I found it wouldn't come off my dark brown on, yeah. on, the, on the window frame. It just kind of skimmed across them. Mm. I can't get any marks on there at all. And the darker colours in my flowers, I've, yeah. I've had to go over and paint again because it just, it won't, it won't yeah. yeah yeah so that with mine. yeah mm. that's one sort of down downfall really of it is you know sometimes the the ink or whatever you've uh, acrylic won't oh. come completely off but yeah. the other side to that is that you can you know like i did with this one i wanted some of these lovely purples and 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 things to come out and blues to come out a bit more so i actually painted them back on so that they were a bit more yeah a bit more vivid <laughs> and this highlight here as well yeah um, and then if it's still you know if you still if you think oh that was too much i put too much back on you can scrape them them back out as well um and a yeah. few people i said today why don't you put more wax on top repaint areas that you want um, the color to be a bit more vivid or even if you just want to change the the marks that you've used so if i wanted to change the marks that I'd used on this area, I could repaint it, wax it, repaint it, and scratch it again, sort of thing. Yeah.
a lot easier to see what I'm doing now I've had my cataract done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can definitely recommend it. Oh, good. <laughs> Everything is so much lighter. Is it? And it's not, not all blurry anymore. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> I'm really glad it went well. to recover. Um, well, I'm on day 10 at the minute. So it's 10 days ago I had it done. Oh, one eye, obviously one eye at a time. Yeah, I, I've had my right one done. I've got two, got the left one to have done. Right. But um, it, one eye still, the one I've had done is still a bit bloody. But um, my vision was really good after about, I don't know, about twelve hours. Oh gosh. Oh, wow. Yeah. Really effective yeah. then. Yeah. Well, that's really good. Yeah. I'm not sure whether I'm going to have the other one done though, because I had a bit of an episode when they were doing it, and um, I I didn't I didn't think to sort of look beforehand. But if um, if you're prone to epilepsy, the sort of anaesthetic they give you, which is basically injecting into your eyeball, um, can induce seizures apparently, even in normal people. So, oh right. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, but. Sightwise, it's brilliant now. Mm. Really good. You're very brave. I think I was on. Right, I've got to have mine done at the end of the summer. <laughs> have you? Mm. Well, 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 well the, the driving, she put me in the system because she said she allowed me to drive, but I've got to go back. I've got to go into Thraxton to them. At the end of the summer, she said I've got to go back. Mm. Well, good luck. So, um, uh, Millions of people have it done and don't have any problems at all. And I think it's it's just me because I've got a funny brain and a funny heart and funny kidneys and everything. I think most most people don't have any trouble at all. My mum and my brother have both have done without any trouble. So it's quite a so, common um, operation then. It's quite um, a lot of people have it then. Oh yeah, yeah. I think it's the most common operation that's done on it. You know. Any, any 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 operation that's done it's the most common one is it oh. where did yeah. you go? well i went to i went to woodlands but it was on an nhs contract yeah i've got to go down yeah and it was a woman was it no it was um mr Joe potter he's called right i know they've got a good reputation there yeah it was they, they were very efficient it's just it, I was a bit nervous beforehand because I went for a pre-op and then when they rang me up to offer me the date, I asked them a few questions because of the problems that I've got and they said, oh, you need to come in for a pre-op and I said, I've had one and they said, well, you slipped through the net, you need another one. So I came in and then when I went in for another pre-op, they said, we don't know why you're here, go away. Oh. But then I got it all sorted out over the phone in the end, and they were they were very good when I went in. They're very efficient than that. I was only in there um, about two and a half hours. Wow! Oh, so, so in and out then, yeah. Wow. And it's really made a big difference then. Massive. Because I got to the point where I didn't think I was going to be able to carry on driving. Yeah, and, yeah. And I couldn't recognise people's faces. I couldn't. Like if I saw a dog up the road, I couldn't see whether it was a sort of a spaniel or a Labrador or what it was. And yeah. Wow. So um, everything's lighter and not so blurry now. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So I can read car registrations easily. And yeah. Yeah. It's, you don't because it comes on slowly. You don't realise how bad it is until somebody puts it right and then you sort of think god yeah yeah totally gosh colors brighter yes much mm -hmm. if i my right eye was the worst one but if i shut my left one and just look through my right eye now it's all sort of i can see all the definition of the colors and it's all lovely and clear and then if i just look for my left one it's all got a sort of yellow tinge to it mm -hmm. oh yeah all oh, right so what is it? Is it something that's on your eye? Is it a cataract? It's as you get older, yeah. the stuff inside the lens of your eye all gets all sort of chunky and clouded and everything. Right. So they take that lens out and put you an artificial one in. Yeah. 
and uh and it works <laughs> yeah, you can see brilliant yeah she told me to wear sunglasses all the time because ultraviolet light grows them does it yeah well i've worn reactor lights ever since i was um 28 all right um but i got i mine i think i've been on three sorts of medications for years and years and all of them can induce cataracts i think that's what, why i got them yeah. but i got so i couldn't wear i had to change my reactor light glasses for um for clear ones because I couldn't see with the glasses on they were too dark mm. um, once you know once the lens got really bad uh, so well I'm glad it's worked for you <laughs> yes am I <laughs> yeah Whatever I've done to this paint, this top layer, I cannot get the paint off. It's going right through to the board. I put some soap in it when we yeah, did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a bit of water. Just not coming off very well at all. Not like the previous, like last week's. All right. Um. So, this, can I see it or? Just not. Um, That's how mine was with my that tapestry one. Yeah. And in the end, I just sliced it off. Oh, and what are you using to scrape it off then? And You're using something hard. Seam eh? ripper. Oh. oh, yeah. Well, that should work, shouldn't it? And, um, this. Hmm. Oh, that's a good idea. So you've yeah, got, I've um, got one of those. You've got plenty yeah. of wax on there, have you? I last do you remember I used the hair dryer, Jamie, last week to actually dry yes, this. Yeah. Then I had the hair dryer on the um the candle. Yeah. And so it just went on like liquid wax. Oh yeah, I remember, yeah. Yes, whereas this one I've just rubbed it on. Yeah. Which is what I did anyway. Yeah. Mm. But it's just not coming off. Oh. Now this week I'm having a better time with it. How oh, are you? Because it's on board. Yours is on. Is yours on board? It's just it's um, actually wood, yeah. Um, oh right, yeah. And yours is on. What's yours on, Eve? Mine's um, just on um, some card. It was the back of something. A back of a sketchbook sort of thing, or? Yeah, type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yes, I used that last week, the back of my sketchbook, uh, yeah. the watercolour pad, and it soaked in. Yes. And I think that's why I couldn't get it off. Mm. Did you um, put a, a layer of white underneath? did. Acrylic white, yeah. Yeah. So that's also what I did to seal the board a little bit. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to just scrape away for the moment, just see what I can get out, and then I might just have to reapply stuff on the top. Yeah all else fails i should just paint it <laughs> <laughs> okay jamie i think I've, i'm done um so i don't know i can't think of anything else i'll show you i've done the same one that you did oh yeah okay um so, oh yeah but, yeah, yeah, yours has come out much more bolder than mine, hasn't it? The marks and stuff. Yeah, but I'm not sure whether that's right or not. But I, all the dark things, as I said, wouldn't come off. So I've had to paint over the top of mm. some of the flowers. They just didn't want to come off. And on the window frame, it remained... I don't know why. I just couldn't get it off. So I've kind of painted on top little streaks just to sort of... Oh, right. You, so, yeah. So you've gone yeah. over... Have you gone over some of the flowers as well? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just a few of them. Yeah, because it was it was too. They were just terribly dark. Yeah. And and I couldn't well, scrape anything off. So. Try, I'm just thinking some of the flowers you could yeah. maybe just um, engrave into them a little bit as well. Not so that they disappear at all. Just sort of okay. to put some definition okay. in the shapes as well. 
because I mean it's quite <laughs> it's quite effective um, but if you look at the photos some of the flowers on one side might be a bit more faded than the other yeah. um they are they're lighter yeah definitely. yeah lighter on the on the, on the right, right. <laughs> but it is on the picture it's lighter on the picture when yeah it is on the right yeah, side. yeah. so i was thinking point. you could and i ended up painting a lot in yeah, yeah. all right i couldn't see it but i kept dubbing a bit of white a bit of black and then another bit of white yeah and then another <laughs> scraping bit which is which is a good thing now i enjoyed doing yeah it. it's just like yeah, painting in a way really when it comes to that <laughs> another one but now i'm lost i don't know what i'm doing here at all <laughs> well have you got a picture there that you're working from i've got a picture here but it's not a, it's not um it's flowers yeah I just, oh, the one i just um, printed up i didn't like yeah did you show me it or but this is just keeping me quiet for now let's have a look oh right okay yeah well that's actually it's not too bad is it yeah are you gonna you're gonna anyway and i thought i could draw one of my pots instead yeah of that one. oh yeah yeah okay yeah gotcha that's what i was going to ask yeah but those those so highlights I'm just on copying the picture again aren't i well no because you're going to put something else there aren't you? you're going to put some ideas of your own instead of that pot aren't you is that what you meant <laughs> yes yeah. yeah yeah so that is i don't that... know what yeah but i was going to say the highlights and shadows on that window are really nice aren't they so You'll be able to get still the... finishing one, Joan. Excuse me. I'm still finishing one. That yeah. I started with the dark in the middle. Oh right, yeah. Door. Yeah. But I need to sit at the table, and it's taken me quite a long time to do it. Yeah. Well, that's all right. And lean forward for about half an hour, and then I've had Then you've got to have a break. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm getting there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't realize window frames are so complicated. But where is <laughs> yeah? When you... the window is just a square thing. <laughs> yeah but, but then it's got, the, it's got the bit that yeah yeah it's got all the highlights and shadows on it as well oh, hasn't it so. which bit i was on in the end whether it was white or gray or brown or... and it looks so simple yeah i think you've got to see it's the overall it's you've, coming up yeah you've got to see the overall thing haven't you you know where are the highlights and shadows as opposed to getting mm. getting overly um involved with too much of the detail just looking for those highlights and shadows and whacking those in as quickly as you can sort of thing but i would like to do one with this thing let's do that next yeah oh, these that are not finished <laughs> well no i finished one well yeah i mean you can do a bit at a time can't you you know if, if your back hurts after a bit then do you know but it's do... wimbledon's on in the next fortnight I, I <laughs> When's it well, actually start? What's the starting date? When's it actually start? Monday, I think. Next Monday. Next. Yeah. This Monday, Monday coming. Then my daughter FaceTimes me with my grand great granddaughter. Now I'll be on the telly all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I always tell my daughter I've got to train when I watched Wimbledon. <laughs> she was about nine months old. <laughs> and I used to work. I used to probably couldn't afford a holiday. I used to say to people, I'm on holiday. It's Wimbledon. I think I told you that last week. I think, yeah. If you make your own tea, <laughs> <laughs> I'd do nothing. It's my holiday. Too but right. I love them. I just like it. My daughter's going on the Friday. The atmosphere is amazing. Yeah. I've never been. Never been. Yeah, I'd like so to. I don't know if I ever will now, but there you go. Never know. You, you never, never know. You never know. I do it though. Like, I enjoy it, I'm going tell you anyway. Yeah. And I've got to think of a jug. A bars of mine that I can copy. That's handy. Oh, that looks nice. Anyway, they've got some beautiful jugs, although they're for twelve pounds. Waitrose have got those beautiful um, jugs with a hole in, you know, to put plants in. That are that's about that high. Mm. They're beautiful at the moment. Can't afford one, but I keep looking at them. Yeah. 
thought they were quite a good band because they are pops and they're there to go outside. You know, James, this is coming off so much easier. Is with, it? With the butter knife as well. Are you on that? You're on the. Is it? Yeah, you said you were on board, didn't you? I haven't put as much paint on. It's not as thick. Did you put lots of um? Did you put lots of wax on, Sheila? I put too much on last time. Right. And I think it it is so. It is some sketch pad. It is soaked in. This is lying on top more because it's board. Just a board. Yeah. Right. Okay. Harder surface. Yeah. Well, I'm not making any inroads on this. <laughs> like you. That's for sure. When you've put it on. Yes. It? Yeah, it is. I can't understand why it's not coming off very much at all. Mm. You see, even then, if you persevere with it, the end result can be quite nice. Yes. We showed the Tesco girl it today. <laughs> what, the Tesco delivery girl? She said every time I come, you show me your artwork. What have you done? I thought it was nice of her. <laughs> not been for months, so she was quite impressed with that one. Yeah, you get a different one every week, really, don't you? Yeah. They've been so helpful, though, because the job's to pick the shop in and everything up. But they put it away and they stand next to so the they come in and really put it good. in, yeah. And then they get to look at my art. <laughs> That's the highlight. Yeah. Yeah. And it's lovely because it's somebody, somebody else coming in to have a chat with, isn't it? Yeah, they're very quick though. I mean, they're in and out so quickly. I think they get they get ahead of the game quite a lot. You know, they manage to get through quite a few deliveries some weeks. So they have a bit of spare time because <laughs> you yeah, see, you, so, you see them on the side of the road having a break, you know. I think it, sometimes if they go back too quickly, they get another load. So they hang oh, around. Did they? Yeah. I didn't think of that. I feel sorry for our man. He comes from um, Rushton Way and his daughter, his only daughter, is in New Zealand and they wanted to buy a house and go and live near to her. Oh right, and they've, yeah. got, they've got enough to do it, and they won't let it won't let them in. He's sixty three, right? And oh, that's a shame. He's not allowed. In, and they've got enough money to do it. You know, they just won't let them in. Oh right, what? Because they they're not offering something, or it's because the 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 Chinese uh, have gone in a lot with their elderly, mm -hmm. and they've made a rule now that um, relatives can't go in unless they're working. And um, of course, their retirement age now. So oh. it's all to do with New Zealand not looking after elderly people, really. It's their health policy, isn't it? Yeah, it is their policy, isn't it? It's yeah. Jacinda. Jacinda Hearn, or whatever she is called. It was shocking there when you could join your family, I think that's. Oh. Yeah, but you see, the Chinese have been trying to take too many in. <laughs> world and his wife we went to new zealand 2018 yeah yeah fed through to for about three weeks and it must was the chinese new year we got to oh, yeah. a place called queenstown on the south island yeah and it was completely <laughs> overridden. Loads and loads of Chinese, because they said you have really difficulty getting anywhere to stop. Oh, really? We couldn't make it out when we were booking up our Airbnbs. We thought, oh, there must be something going on. We had to, what? well. Yeah. Yeah, we ended up going to this, it was somebody's house. And when we arrived, we thought, oh my goodness me. And they just got a room because we couldn't get anything else. And this chap had got 
building going on. You've got it's all stuff out the front and you have to pick your way around by the side of the house and you thought, oh god, this is going to be a nightmare. Um, so he showed us through the inside of the house, which was in a state of literally bare wall block, plaster hadn't got on, stepping over plaques of wood. Then he undid this door and then we went into this wonderful little flat. It was as if it wasn't the same house. <laughs> So, you know, that was fine, absolutely fine. Just a bit of a shock. Bit of a relief. <laughs> Went up to the Bay of Islands on Waitangi Day. Oh, very nice. Oh, I don't know whether it was. <laughs> <laughs> the Maori would be trying to run us off the road. Oh, really? Run oh, you off the yeah. road? And yes, because they're, um, it's their great festival, you see, and all their totem poles are there, and oh, it's a funny pagan thing. And they, um, <laughs> they're all going up in the transit vans, and we were going up in this little Subaru thing, and trying to pull us off the road. And then even on the pavements, they were walking to you on the pavements, they were quite, they're a bit high, I think. Mm. But it's their great day, you see, and all these totem poles are there, and mm. It quietened down after about two days. But it is a marvellous place, isn't it? Unbelievable. Yeah, I've not been. I'd, I really would like to go one day. Let's go, Jamie. Sell all those prints off and go. All right, then. I'll start a fundraiser. <laughs> <laughs> there was a fair in them, like you came to at Christmas, in Amble on them Saturday. Oh, is that? It wasn't crafts, it was food. Oh, very nice. Yeah, I have heard of that, I think. Because they've done it before, haven't they? I don't know. The smells were incredible. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> and it was pouring with rain, which is crowded with people. Atmosphere. And they've got all these knitted people, as I said before, they're still there. Oh, are they? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're still sitting there. At the bus stop. <laughs> most of the stuff's up in the other villages as well. We've got those like knitted stuff everywhere, haven't we? And oh, she's not listening. <laughs> we have got knitted stuff, Jeremy. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just, Jamie. I'm getting you confused with the plumber. I've had so many people around here the last few days, I don't know who's who. <laughs> Jeremy the plumber, Steve the, the um, roofer. Crikey, what are you having done? Oh, well, we've got an old house and uh, yeah. for years when we were both working and fostering and everything, we didn't have a lot done and now we're trying to get everything done in our dotage, you see, so that it won't all fall to bits. <laughs> How long did you foster for? 18 years. How many? 18. 18? Yeah. Um, and then now, we, now we've got two Ukrainians. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Lovely. How lovely. That's so kind of you. Oh, they, okay. are, they are lovely. They're really nice people, yeah. No trouble at all. Well, they're fitting in all right. Yeah, it's good. It's working out really well because they've got there's a Lithuanian lady in the village they're friendly with, and there's also somebody she knew as a child who's Ukrainian that lives in Wellingbor anyway. So they sort of spend their time going between the the three of us really. Oh right. So, but living with us, you know, but but going around. Yeah. Do they, do they have any English? Um, they have a little bit now. They only had very minimal when they came, but the first thing the boy said was, Capito ate my bread, because he got a piece of bread out, put it on the side, and the dog ate it. Ah. <laughs> oh. Won't be doing that again. No. <laughs> <clears throat> 
it does help when you can actually see the picture because I couldn't see it before. What, your photo? I or... made mine up. <laughs> I don't know if it looks enough or not. Well, I thought, what, well, you doing that photo, weren't you? I thought. I've yeah, been a, a, a part of, well, I don't know what they are, really. Berries. <laughs> Well, mine were daisies, but they look like daffodils now. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> well, I think if you do pretend flowers, it's a lot easier. <laughs> I've done one pot of pretend flowers, now I don't know what to put in the other one. Okay. Joan, it's going to look really naff. I don't know if that's going to look really naff. Nice. Hang on. Mm. Uh, look. You. Oh yeah, you just need more leaves and foliage, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, a few more leaves than that. Be really good. Yeah. Yeah. I do. <laughs> Should do a few leaves. Lots and lots of lots more leaves anyway. <clears throat> That's right, that's just where I was lost. I believe it's nearly nine at four. No, oh, can I spend that? Oh, crikey, yeah. <laughs> we yes. haven't heard the cat yet, do we? No, she's, she's asleep. She's on the deck chair. I'm sorry. On the deck chair. She's <laughs> <laughs> watching reflections on the deck chair. She's giving up the coat. She'll be here. <laughs> yes. It's cocoa time. Isn't she with it? Yeah, it's <laughs> only about 20 to 9. <laughs> She's in the summer house and on the deck chairs at the moment. She's in. But when it rains, she goes into the lounge and has the best chair <laughs> around near it. Cat rules, eh? Yeah. Hey, Jerry. How's your little dog getting on? Charlie? Yeah. He's all right. Yeah, he's um getting a haircut tomorrow. Do you want me to do you want me to bring him along and show you how he looks? Yeah, let's have I'll go and fetch him and you can have a look at him. Yeah, Jerry. Yeah. Mm. Probably rub all this out on it. Yeah. <clears throat> Here he is. Oh. 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 <laughs> I can't see him. I, can't. I could see Jackie and Kristen. Can you see him? Hang on. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's gorgeous. There he is. Oh, he's like a teddy bear. He is a bit, really, isn't he? <laughs> is, is he a snouser? No. He's a cockapoo. He's a cockapoo, cock yeah. Yeah. Which is better cockapoo? Is he soft? Get a bit more colour in here. There you go. Oh, that's better. Right, he looks a bit grey. Yeah. He's gone it's... again. I've lost him again. Yeah. I've watched his cockapoo. He's got such a lovely yeah. personality. Does the scout think so? He's got all crusty ears at the moment because he's dipped his he's hair in He's going to have a haircut water. tomorrow. Don't, don't make him too short. No, I don't. Well, I like, quite like him long, actually. He's ever he so... lots of knots in his fur, though. He's got some, he's got some under here. Got a few under Kurt, there. Kurt, oh, he's gorgeous. <laughs> Looks like one of your textured pictures, Jamie. Yeah. 
Look at him. It's very, it's very much the same colour as Lindsay's. He's really Jump, tired. Look. <laughs> He's hardly moving. Look. You wouldn't know he was alive, would you? <laughs> How does he get on with the other one? Not very well. Well, he he oh, he loves he loves Scout, but um, Scout doesn't, love him. doesn't <laughs> really know. Scout just thinks, go away, <laughs> leave me alone. What have you done? <laughs> What's she thinking? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's quite a. He's a lovely dog, though. He's really. Really nice. Is your dog bad? Sorry. Yeah, very docile. Yeah. Well, he. Because he's... when you're at work. Um. Well. Um. When I'm at work, somebody comes and um, takes him out for the day with Scout. Right. So we've got people looking after him, you know, because <laughs> it's a bit long, isn't it? Like to leave him mm. all day when he's only little. Mind you, we, we always do it anyway. We have Scout go off, you know, as well. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's what my granddaughter's doing in the South Island of New Zealand. She's uh, walking dogs with people. Mm. Good way to earn some money. Yeah, she's, she's going, coming back to a job in um, London in September. She's just finished an engineering course in Durham, but she's had a whale of a time this winter. She's earned quite a bit walking dogs, looking after animals. Very good. <laughs> she's good with them. She's 23, she's not a child. There was an article in one of the papers which was talk talking about a student who, um, because of the cost of living, what she was doing was uh, going to look after, uh, I don't know whether this was like a summer job, that's saying, right, I'll look after your dog rather than putting them into kennels. So yeah. it's stopping the houses. Mm, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah I've heard well. of that. Yeah, I've that's heard of that. Dogs, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, there's a thing called country cousins that do that. They come and stay with animals. Mm. I think it's Thursday, isn't it? They're supposed to get quite warm again. From what they... warmer towards the end. Sorry? Warmer towards the end. What, of Thursday or the week? Yes. Um, I think tomorrow's starting to get warm and then warm again. I went to London on last Friday. Yeah. And it was 33. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> mm. We were in one of the museums, so it wasn't too bad. But when you came out, you thought, wow. That is and hot, then we yeah. went back up to Euston, so that was about past four, only to find um, somebody, it was this chap, you know, giving out those metro runs, he said, the station's shut, and we just ignored him. <laughs> anyway, we got there, and sure enough, the bit that was outside, uh, where they've got the tables and everything, absolutely rammed. You couldn't even get into Euston, and there'd been a fire on the track side at Leighton Buzzard. So oh, God. the furthest you could go north was Peterborough, I'm uh, sorry, it was at Watford. So we then headed round to St Pancras and um, yeah. managed to get a train that was going to uh, Kettering. And then we... That's lucky. 
Yeah, and then managed to get home from there. Right, crikey. That must have been Apparently some... some people were on the trains for a couple of hours. It was packed. And um, hot. You know, no ventilation and everything. Oh, we're awful in that. Yes. Yeah. Usually, they're pretty good with the air conditioning. Mm. So it was a good job we stopped for a bit. We thought, shall we just go in and have a glass of wine? Best glass of wine. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> nice cold one. Yes. And um, if we'd been any earlier, we could have been on one of the trains that had got stuck. Yeah. Well, just as well then. Jeremy, could I just ask you, please? Yeah. How on earth do you paint neck curtains? <laughs> <laughs> no idea. Probably cross. Why did you use a big bill of neck curtains? Oh right, let's have a look. So, um, because it's kind of really soft looking, isn't it? Um, I would do it is paint everything underneath first of all that's there right. right and then over the top do thin like glazes of color so washes of color that are transparent so i did right. that i did that on that other painting that i did didn't i um it's like a lot of gray it's like well yeah beige. so yeah but you can change that you can do that in um you could do that in um a blue instead couldn't you you don't have to do gray so you could do That's it. Wouldn't be more interesting because there's a lot of yeah. white. Look, the, um, hang on. That you do just vases and no plants. Yeah. Because there's a lot of plants behind. So the, do you remember this one? There. I've got two nice vases downstairs. It's just that I couldn't be bothered to go down. <laughs> oh right, so, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> but this, look, them this them. one is is. Look, you can see this. Right, yeah. So this was the the same blue as on the window frame and things over here, all this. Yeah. But then I added white on top of it to make it softer. You did the blue first. Yeah, on this on this bit. Yeah. So Thank see you, this yeah. bit here. Hang on. So that bit there. A lot of that... weave on this. Yeah, so you can you can put that in with a bit, you know, you could use, a, say, a white pencil and just put some light lines in on top, couldn't you, afterwards? But this yeah, is, yeah, you. but this is a dark blue that look, then I put white on to make that effect of the light coming through on that one. Thank you. So, yeah, so thin layers of colour, you know, and you can right. get that no, effect. Not... Yeah. Yeah, so try Thank that. You. Try that. It's a very nice picture at the minute, but we will see. Yeah, you'll keep going, won't you? See, there's not much there in the background, more like a garden. <laughs> but I will look up, I will look up and see. So this is Monday morning task, well for me anyway, uh, to, to do the painting with, with stuff on the windowsill, presumably. Is that what you're going to do? We're talking to each other. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to go. Thank you ever so much, everyone. Nice to see you. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. So I didn't realise what the time was. <laughs> Ignore your things. Bye. All right. I love Bye. Bye. I'll just go okay. Okay. Bye. Bye, Jamie. See you next week. All right. Yes. Thank you, Bye. everyone. Thanks, Jamie. All right. So, Jamie, did you say what we're doing next week?